the studio, we originally started the process of just writing again, so you know, hanging out and doing that, and it didn't feel quite right yet. Right. Um, we just took some more time off, and I think with the, with taking that extra break for another three or four months, whatever it was, then coming back in, it, then it, 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 it sparked and it triggered where we're at now with the album, which is cool. I think, I think having the time to do that was what we wanted. We didn't want to rush through it and just turn something out that we weren't proud of. Yeah. So before, it had to go through you know, other people and they had some kind of okay stuff, but no, no one else has a say in it. Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't as intense as people saying, you can't say this, yeah. more just advisors, you know, people saying, if you say this, it might not go here, and we might not be able to support it here, and this yeah. and that. Uh, whereas this time, we just said, let's just let's just write what we want to write about and, and just talk about the things that, you know, can, can leave you feeling uncomfortable, but uh, in the best way. And you chose to talk about pom-poms. Yes, yes. Um, Very uncomfortable topic. Pom Poms is uh, a fun, high energy song about a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, you know, it really depends on how you want to interpret it. Uh, obviously, obviously, there's like a, a sexy element to the song. You know, that's that's part of the fun of it. I'm trying to be creative is how we sort of infuse that in there. Yeah. But it's not necessarily like that was the intention. You know, we're in the studio. It's like let's write a song about that. Um, it was kind of just, you know, for some for some reason that word kept coming up in our minds and. Um, and trying to find, I think it was the track, as I was building the track out, there was marching band elements, and yeah. so we were trying to figure out how we could tie it all together. Yeah. Do you cast the video yourself? Were you like, yeah. you guys and girls, we, just, uh, we had some say in it. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, you have a, a massive fan base and a very dedicated, loyal one, but at any point, were you at all, you know, scared they might have moved on <laughs> before you came? Um, yeah, I think there's definitely, like, really? that... Yeah, there's a reservation where you kind of get nervous about releasing music and even just saying you're going back on tour and seeing if fans are going to show up. Yeah. What were you most looking forward to about going back on tour? What were you most excited about? Probably just performing these new songs. Yeah. Um, all of us as adults now, it's like a different tour. It's like a different really, feeling. Yeah. And and you travel the world seeing it from kind of a different different eyes, I guess. Mm -hmm. And. Um, it was it was a lot of fun. We can't wait for the summer, to be honest. Do you realize how lucky you were the first time around when you revisited? Um, oh, this oh, is nice. Hey, definitely, you know, definitely. There's those feelings when you look back and you're like, wow, there's some crazy stuff that we've been able to do in our yeah. lives already, and just kind of hoping that it continues, obviously. Um, but yeah, there's definitely times you sit back and you're looking at like almost like a yearbook of your life and thinking about the crazy opportunities and, and performances. Um, changing topic slightly, Nick, you were diagnosed with type one diabetes. How does that affect how you talk? Does it have any effect on that? It does, uh, in a major way. You know, I, I've been a diabetic now for seven, almost eight years, um, and it's challenging. You know, it's a, kind of a day-to-day -day thing. But uh, I have a really, really good doctor uh, out in LA who, who's helped me in, in a major way and made sure I, I have all that I need for touring. Um, I have a great pump that I use that keeps me regulated, and, and you know, family and friends on the road too. It's helpful, obviously having brothers there is a good thing and uh, fans are very supportive as well so that helps so we had new kids on the block last week do you see yourselves still being together in 20 years time we are brothers so i, I think the connection <laughs> is kind of there but um <laughs> but I, I i i hope so it'd be amazing making music is what we love whether we do it together for the rest of our lives or as individuals i, I just hope we can keep doing what we love